Well, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. It's actually Wednesday night. But I got up this morning, did my little meditation, did my prayers, usual everyday thing, cleaned up the house, made breakfast. Went to AA, came back, um, did some stuff for my mom. She wanted me to go to the store, you know, went to the store for her, stuff like that. Go to my mailbox, and I get a letter from, you know, my apartment building saying that, um, basically I'm evicted. That little stunt of me calling the police got me evicted. Yes, let me say that again. That little stunt of old girl hitting me in the back of the head, me not reacting, didn't go off because I knew it was cameras. They pulled the cameras. They evicted me and they evicted well, Faye, the people across the hall from me. Evicted them too. Yes, so I have until October first to move. I can appeal it. I sent the paper out, Sandy. You know, I'm gonna appeal it, and like my mom said, there's no appealing. They're not gonna. They want people to move out. They don't wanna. They shut down our building. So anything that happens. They're trying to get rid of you. Point blank period. And I already knew that. But I thought I was going to have another year here. That's why I didn't react to old girl. Because I'm like, it's cameras. They're going to help us move. They're going to you know, pay for us to move. They're going to give us Section 8. They're going to hook us up. Because they want to shut down our building. Well, yeah. So, with that all selling, said and done, I gotta be out of here October 1st. Hopefully, when I go down there and talk to them, I can just be like, look, let me stay until my lease is up. My lease is up in January. <laughs> Give me into January, because there is nobody, like, it had, if I got it on the 5th and y'all want me out on the 1st, that's not even 30 days. Y'all supposed to give me a 30 day notice. That's just off rip. That's not 30 days. And there is nobody right now that's going to. Anybody go. Like, I don't want to live with people. I don't like living with people. Never did, never will. Don't like living with people. And shit, everybody I know living with my mama right now. <laughs> Who better get put on her damn self? Because old girl was living with my mom. And now I have to be like, okay, well, old girl lived with my mom since, you know, so-and-so day. Like, me and Faye got to, we got to throw mama under the bus now. Today is the day that I can use a drink. I want to drink so bad. Like, I could just use a pint so bad right now. Just even a shot. <laughs> oh my God, I called that number like, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to come down here and chill with me. You ain't got to chill with me. Come down here and smoke a blunt. Let's just, let's put this shit on the table. I was like, come smoke a blunt with me. Get some get some herbs from somebody and come down here and smoke a blunt with me and I'll give you the money back. Like, straight up. It's like, okay, I'm going to try to find a way down there. And that nigga so motherfucking funny, dog. It's hilarious. You trying to you be nice and shit. 
just to keep that door open when somebody asks you to do something. You can't do it. But my feelings is, ooh. I keep saying, you know what? I keep telling myself, like, you know what? I'm going to let God handle it. I'm going to leave it in his hands like I'm leaving my addiction in his hands and all that stuff. <coughs> like, I'm going to leave it in his hands and let him take over. I have been doing so good. I've been staying in my lane and just doing me. If I'm not cleaning up, I'm chilling. But, as y'all can tell, I did my hair. It came out so pretty. I've been getting so many compliments. And the white boys, the white boys love the hair. And it is thundering and lightning, but no rain. The last video I put up, I was like, um, I don't know what the problem is. I'm independent. I got my own place. I got a good head on my shoulders. I pay my own bills. Da 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 da. Cocky as hell, right? Still cocky. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Still cocky as hell, but now. Once I get the letter, once I, you know, I didn't even cry. I didn't cry. I didn't get, it was just like, okay, whatever. I'm going to give it to God. Whatever whatever happens. Filled out the paper. It was like, I'm going to do that. Filled out the paper for the hearing. Put it in. Then turned around and was like, you know what? I called my ex. Not six, but my ex from like four years ago. We keep in contact with each other, but it's like more of a, I'm going to say Instagram thing. Like, ooh, I like your picture. And I only post on Instagram every blue moon. And I, um, they might like my picture. I might like their picture. Keep them going. That's it. But I reached out and was just like, I need to come back home. Like, I need to come back home. And that's a whole different lifestyle than what I have built for myself here. Like, that's a whole different side of me that I have. I thought I put away, got rid of, didn't want to deal with. But I made that call and was like, hey, I want to come back home. No, I was like, hey, I need to come back home. And... They was like, are you willing to basically give your life up? And I was like, yeah. Yes. At least I know with this person, I will be, you know, I will never go to sleep. <laughs> I will never go to sleep alone. I will never be without. I will have everything I would ever need and want. And I have to worry about money or, you know, anything. But is it worth having your mind just taken over by somebody else? Or having your your ability to want to go somewhere or do something, and that part you gotta ask this person like, "Hey, can I go to my mom's house?" Or, "Hey, I'm going to the grocery store." Or, "Hey, you know, you gotta." It's like you were a kid all over again. That was the biggest. Excuse me. That was our biggest problem was. That control. 
and I'm more of a control type person. I'm doing my own shit. I want to do what I want. I want to go where I want to go. I want to talk. I want to do this. I want to do that. Wow, it's lightning bad. <laughs> but there's no rain. You see all this lightning, but no rain. But like, do I want to be in that control? Do I want my mind and body controlled again? And if that's what makes me Like, I got a choice. I can be out here in the streets. Or go where I know I'm the loved, taken care of, getting everything that I possibly want. But I'm getting talked down to and my mind is just in somebody else is controlling everything. My money, man, body, and soul. So on the inside, it's like all oh, that's getting controlled. But on the outside, this can be back to normal. We talked for like a good hour and a half. Because once I called Six and, you know, talked to him, and I thought he actually was going to do it. Because I'm like, oh, my God, I really need to talk to him. And then when he didn't, you know, I called him again to see, like, I called him, like, three hours later to see what was going on. And that didn't happen. And then I just went to Instagram and was like, you know what, let's go back. Let's go back to before six, before this apartment. Let's just go back. It wasn't that bad. And it seemed like when I'm not drinking or smoking or when I'm not drink this hair itch. But when I'm not drinking or smoking, it's like I'm vulnerable. Vulnerable? I think that's the word. And I wanted Six to be like that one to be like, he looked like that type of person that would take control and be like, like, all the shit that he put me through is nothing compared to what I'm going to go through with this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm laughing now to keep from myself feeling like, shit, I really want to go to the motherfucking liquor store. Let's just be fucking honest. I can get a drink right now and nobody will fucking know. Only people would know I'm drunk in this motherfucker is me. God and y'all. Something like, hey, hey, it's lightning outside. Before it start raining, you know, throw some clothes on, wrap my hair up, because I just got out the shower. Run to the liquor store, get you a fifth right quick. Come back and just drink it away. And it's okay. Nobody will know. But then what is that solving? Nothing. Not a motherfucking thing. I don't know how I feel right now. I don't know what to feel right now. I just... I don't know. I don't know. But I know I'm going back to the past.